Whoa, 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 steamers. <laughs> the, the wheel, it spins. The wheel keeps on spinning. Steamer. Steamer. <laughs> steamer. Oh. <laughs> Rolling in a steamer. Uh, right. I'm going to pick Knuckle Sandwich. I'm going to go with Full Sword. Okay, Full Sword. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Europa? Wait, is this just Europa? Europa? Well, Europa's like uh, one of those fucking like RTS city builder. Is. Yeah, RTS game. I, I guess we'll see. I doubt it is. See over Europa. Europa demo. We're just sitting here listening to these fantastical noises for this menu. It's so like, oh, yeah. Actually, I think I'm going to turn the volume up. It was really hype a, a second more. ago, we swear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The 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 music was good, but I'm talking about the like chimey noises oh, from like the, the yeah 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 this stuff. Ambiance. Ambiance. All right, let's get into it. The SFX. Try to imagine what it would be like to go to sleep and never wake up. Now try to imagine what it is like to wake up having never gone to sleep. That was when you were born. What? <laughs> what? My brain. <laughs> it got all philosophical on me, dude. Like Scoob. And now, to time, oh, <laughs> I ask myself, sorry, I'll be quiet. Is it possible to miss something you've never known? All right. Let me rephrase. Is it possible to be homesick uh, for a place you have The subtitles are over the title. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, and they're both white, so it's like really hard to see. Um. Oh, oh. oh my God. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh, it's like oh, neat. Oh, okay, I was not expecting that face. Hey, how you doing? I got a little like robotic. Oh, he's got eyes. like a little portal eye. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little portal eye. Like a camera oh, shutter. This reminds me of Nino Kuni right away. Europa, my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go. Gotta go fast. Adam. Am I, am I like a little hobbit? Oh. Go oh, fast. Uh, I'm I'm hitting all the buttons. Okay, that does something. The the buttons don't do anything. This is a Oh, okay. Now I have a jump. Oh, okay. Very floaty. I I think I am floating. I think that's like <laughs> Yeah, I'm very like low grav boy. Oh, this is the Breath of the Wild moment. Let me walk onto this little step. Oh, wow. Animation by Craig Harris. It is pretty. It is. Yeah. Like the... It's very Studio Ghibli. Ghibli. Come to the island. Gibbous. Ever get lonely. Gibbous. Studio Gibbous. Come here. Charge up power gem. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Moach. Oh shit. Okay. Cinematics by Brian Horn. I'm trying to look around at my surroundings. Yeah, it like it directs you where you wants to go. Which yeah, is fine. It's, it's very cinematic. Oh, okay, I guess oh, this is what we're going. Floating island up there. Oh, I'm sliding. Oh, I'm sliding. Oh, you know I love it when games let me slide around. Concept art by Uriel Cordes. Mm. Okay, how well do you think the water is gonna be? Look at the reflection on the water. Oh, it is nice. What if, when I jump in, you think there's gonna be a nice splash? Yeah. A good 100%. splash. Eh. Okay. Eh. <laughs> there's weirdly like resistance. Yeah, I like kind of hit the I hit the water first and then fell in. Yeah, it's like a a barrier. Ripples are nice. Those are some nice rips. Look at that tortoise. There's a tortoise. Oh, there is a tortoise. It's a Tortuga. Let's go say hi. Hey, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can ride the tortoise. And we've got deers. This is the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah, it's me just interacting with animals. It's uh, it's very it's very floaty in how you like move and walk and stuff. Did it just say, oh, yeah? <laughs> it sounded like it said, oh, yeah, right? <laughs> Come here and think of me. Oh, yeah. Press A to listen. My son. 
Are From you time sure? to time, am I a robot? I ask myself, is it possible to miss? Was oh, this like a oh Pinocchio shit? Sorry, sorry. My son. I thought it would keep going From if I closed time it. To time, I ask myself, it is a is Geppetto looking esque man. He's a Geppetto like. Uh, let me rephrase. Is it possible to be homesick for a place you've so, never been? In in theorem, on Earth, Astro Boy I think I is is just Pinocchio, right? Life. But like in the future, I'm writing this from the and not in Italy. The view from I mean, you could argue Mega Man's like the same thing. <laughs> yes, well, Mega Man is just Astro this, Boy. I'll be gone. <laughs> yeah, Astro yeah, because Astro Boy came first, I think. Yeah. Oh, Astro Boy's yeah. old oh, as yeah. shit. <laughs> Astro Boy is very old. <laughs> yeah. They built this thing I remember watching uh, some of the original Astro Boy Come stuff when I was a kid. I loved Astro Boy. Lonely. Come here and think of me. I don't think I will. Think oh, nice me. little butterfly. Kind of like the uh, the Da Vinci thing. The like person, the man. The man in the mirror. Oh, look at all these pages that aren't here that I'm skipping through. I bet you'll collect the pages as you go through the game. <laughs> Everything he said was um, what he said so far. So it's kind of like if you weren't paying attention. Oh, okay, got it. It's just a yeah. repeat. Come to the island if you ever get lonely. My demon's trying to get me to buy a timeshare in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Come to, to the, the island. island. <laughs> Do not fantasy take anything. The <laughs> fantasy island. Do not take anything from the island, or the island gods will kill you. Oh, okay. My my jump <laughs> seemed to stop working. Maybe there's <laughs> secrets around the back. <gasps> Collected one of seven Ch emeralds. <laughs> chaos emerald. <laughs> it was like a chaos emerald. Even the way it collected was like a chaos emerald. Chaos control. <laughs> chaos control. Fuck my bit. <laughs> Your cock is mine, Sonic. <laughs> All right. I want to interact with the deer. No, come back. Come back, Doke. You think they're going to fade out of existence? Every yep. day since the Biogun dev commented on that video, and then we know we watched the they watched the entire thing, I think about developers for these games that spent all this time listening to bits about Sonic's cock, like, <laughs> most of the time, 30 minutes into a video. Like, yeah, <laughs> that we just constantly like, do. Oh, I can't wait for the in-depth analysis of my video game by this small channel. My cock! <laughs> My cock! Ah, oh, it's mine! I can't wait for the in-depth cock! <laughs> the cock really analysis. Like the it is good. It's that, like, uh... It, 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 it parts. Kind of it, like, it reminds me partially of, um... This is, like, super unique to the book I'm reading, but it is a well-known series. There's a really cool thing about the world in the Stormlight Archives where the grass avoids people so as people oh, walk okay. the grass like pulls into the ground and like withers away from them that's cool it's a very it's like, like, it's uh, like alive. it's like an avatar s thing like the movie avatar there's all the like fauna and flora yeah. that like interacts when you go near it and like that kind of shit it's very alien it's cool this doesn't feel alien though this feels nice is that a wapple thinger oh his ears are fucking freaking <laughs> wapple out <-thinger. laughs> What are the hell is that called? a Burger King Whopper? <laughs> <laughs> whopper, Whopper, Whopper. Whopper, Whopper. <laughs> whopper, Whopper, Whopper. Bacon Double Junior Whopper. <laughs> I I will never look at that and it think, oh, that's that's select button, you know? I see that icon place. and I'm like, that's start. I don't know what I expected. They've given me a few days to adjust, but I can't make my mind believe that this is Believe? Real. The air tastes like water, and the water tastes like wine. The gardeners have turned this place good thing. into a paradise. You might be drowning. Yeah, I'm having a stroke. <laughs> I'm definitely underwater drowning right now. This air is very liquidy. <laughs> I've seen a video of the, the Indian dude. I am underwater. Help me. He's... No, that sounds he's, great, though. He's just got, like, a fucking filter on of his camera, and he's, he's, he's loving it. He's just, I am wonder what don't help, help me. me. It's really good. I want to see that. That's all it is. It's like a five-second video. <laughs> Stupid oh, me. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice little weird butterfly birds. Bird of flies. Thank you, Obama. Yeah, look at them. They're... They're not quite butterflies, butterflies, but they're not quite birds. 
Man, don't point out their deficiencies. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? What's this? I... I don't know. Oh, what the fuck? It's following you. It's like preventing me from going. Oh, it's... This is their version of the wall. Of, like, the world. <laughs> oh. I, I don't know how to say that with that, like, outer limits, I guess, is another word to, like, say for it. Like, the. Oh, I love that game. <laughs> outer, outer Wimits. <laughs> outer Women. Alex Fairwood. This wood's okay. Ooh. Very dome. <laughs> Much dome. Much dome. I was about to make a much dome very wow joke, and that is so like 2010, like right. the fucking corgi memes. Oh, they're the Doge memes. That's what they were. I was talking to somebody recently. They brought up Rage comics, and I was like, "Please oh, don't yeah. remind me of this shit." <laughs> yeah, the stuff that we found funny when we were like preteens. <laughs> That's what Reddit was to me, like for a long time. I, it was those it. kind of things. Yeah, people used it the other way, but like. I had an app where all I would do, it wasn't like, cause there wasn't an official Reddit app back then. All it was, was uh, rage comics. And I thought that's all Reddit was. <laughs> it's just like, all right, yeah, this, I, I this is all it. it is. Turns out it was just, it's one particular subreddit. It's like r slash F U, like a bunch of U's. Like it's. Yes, that's, I've that's seen that. I, I don't know if that Reddit is still around. I, I, you might know. In some way, shape, or they form. might have gone private in the great Reddit debacle of 2021 you know or whatever. Dude, that, whenever that my, happened. <laughs> my theory is that Rage Comics have not gone away. They've been replaced. The current era of Rage Comics is um the Chad guy. Yes. And... It's the <laughs> yeah, no, I Chad, know, dude. I know. I've I'm seen like the a... side by sides. It's the Chad guy. And I'm like, oh my god, this is just they just this upped is a repeat. The, they upped the resolution. The the Those art got a little be funny, better, especially when they're like ironic, like yeah. they're meant to be like brain rot stupid. Yeah, but brain other, rot comedy otherwise has also they're... just gotten really annoying. <laughs> True. Like you, it's funny because it's dumb. I'm like, all right, I get that. <laughs> but at the same time, like, this isn't great. <laughs> yeah. <Are laughs> Can we do something? The glowing tablet on the rock. What is the, the glowing tablet on the rock? For? That turtle is not this. It's yeah. a page. Oh, oh I, I actually the learned. Of the past can stay home on Earth. Things will be different this time. They have to be. Okay. The sins of the past. No, can stop. Stay that kind of looks like two the worlds sin. colliding. So is this like the a post-apocalyptic situation where like... The <laughs> the it won't the let me Sims, leave. The Sims 4 is <laughs> a game of the past. Wobble, 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 wobble. Um, what were you saying? Oh, oh it, it did look like uh, kind of um, worlds like world colliding. The ended, and so like now you're on a new planet. Um, Europa. No, they, they did put the piece together because the your grandpa, whoever's talking to you, was like... I've never been, but uh, I miss it. And I'm like, oh, okay. So this is like, this is oh. why, this is why you don't fucking oh. go through the water immediately. Oh. I just noticed it while you were talking. I was like, You're like a fucking stone. I was Being like, skipped. how am I, how am I, how did I start sliding? There Dude, we go. I would love a mechanic where you could like, oh, so in a game that cool. does with physics, like if you could propel yourself forward and skip on water like a stone. Oh, really that dope. would be really cool. I like would a, like there's that. a, there's a, there's a, there's a, game where you're you play as like a disc and it's like a space like game and you're just like a disc and you use gravity oh, you're you're like a frisbee yeah yeah i mean that it, it is what the game <laughs> is i don't remember what it's called it's called like some something one or something like All that right, what are we doing we got i'm just running around <laughs> we gotta make some progress otherwise we're not giving this game a fair shake and honestly that's true fucking phenomenal ignite lanterns to open passageways Okay. I was just having fun gliding across the water. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, Ooh, look it, at that fire. That's nice. Oh, that feels very um, Breath oh. of the Wild kind of animation. I, I didn't want to, like, make the Breath of the Wild connections, but it's kind of difficult not to. So it's yeah. almost like a combination of Breath of the Wild, and I'm going to say something that people might not like. It's also kind of Genshin-y. Um, Gensh yeah, but like Genshin Breath is Wild, also Breath of the Wild, so... <laughs> I thought you were going to say what I was going to say. What? Which is Breath of the Wild if it looked good. If it didn't look like it was running on a like. fucking shitty device <laughs> that can't I handle the first anything. Time I played Genshin, that was my thought was this looks like Breath of the Wild if it was like, better. If it better. was better looking. Yeah. yeah. 
and it has the climbing mechanics course, and stuff like calm that. Calm down people out there. Right. Well, I feel like you can't mention one or the other without getting people upset because Genshin fan base and the Breath of the Wild fan base is hate each other. Nutty. <laughs> they're, they're, also just like, they're both oh, they're super crazy. devout culty. But both games so. look better than Pokemon Arceus. We could, we could the, this is true. Yes, this is completely <laughs> true, which is also a copy of which Breath of the Wild. Also another rabid <laughs> fan base. You think I'll die if I just jump off of here? Yeah. It's an important test. Oh, no, Wait. I'm good. Oh, no, you're good. No health. A health system. Yeah, I don't know if I have health because I'm not a real boy. Not a real boy. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Chaos control. <laughs> Chaos control. <laughs> Is that the hold A to super jump? Uh, in, that's, no? no, that's X. You hold X, and I think I'm, that's going to be some kind of pair. Holder Pinto. Um, you have to Holder elder. Pinto to do the shield. Elder. <laughs> elder. A Holder in my with, arms. I worked with a, with a, with somebody spelled a name like that. Pronounced Elder usually. Huh. I've never heard that name. I would assume it's some like foreign. It's um, Hispanic. Okay. I think it's. Makes I think sense. it's usually Spanish in particular, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Like from Spain? España. <laughs> España. Hold X to stomp the yard. Jump, then press X. To oh, stomp. jump to butt bomb. Okay. That felt like a. This feel. Uh, I want to do it again, but it feels a little weird. It's 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 because you're so fucking floaty. So you don't really seem like you're coming down with a lot of force. You're kind of just like lightly what landing. You could, like, the hold A for super jump and, then, and do then do it. I'll try it out in a second. Okay, maybe that's like a cool boom. There's also a, uh, oh. there's some kind of like thing over the screen. I don't know if you can see it. That looks like a canvas, like canvas material. And normally, I, see it. I normally out. hate that shit. Oh, what the fuck are those? What are those? Like a form of film grain. <laughs> yeah, I, I usually hate film grain, but I actually think that it's really doing a good job for this to turn it into like a storybook, to give it that painted look. Since this game's a little bit of a platformer slash collector, um, did you play both Banjo Kazooie and uh, uh, Super Mario Sunshine? So I played Those Super Mario Sunshine a lot. Yeah. I really, really loved Super Mario Sunshine. I watched Mark play Banjo Kazooie. I never actually okay. played it. I didn't have the console. I think that was That's a N64, what it is. I was, right? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Banjo was on. on uh, Banjo was an N64. Was was I didn't have an N6, N64. I had a GameCube uh, when GameCube came out, and then before that, Mark gave me his Super Nintendo, and I played Kirby on that a lot. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I've watched Mark play a good amount. Mark and his brother play a lot of banjo, but I never um I never played it personally. I've always wanted to go back and play it. As like maybe like a one off or kinda something mm -hmm. like that. Um but I've always loved the aesthetic about, of like, it. Uh, people's favorite platformers and that was like the most common too, but I learned a lot of people haven't played banjo. I played a ton of banjo, but um Yeah. A it's... lot of people are quick to say uh Super Mario Sunshine, which is a fantastic game. Yeah, I love Super Mario wrong. Sunshine. I just think what sets Banjo apart is its personality is unrivaled. Like, it's no not just Mario. Sense. It's not just like a Mario game. Like Banjo yeah, seems like, yeah, and yeah I will if say, that makes sense. Sunshine Whoa. does have a ton of personality for a Mario game as well. Delfino, like Island and everything feels very Oh, the little unique. characters that are like never yes. ever like seen again in Mario. <laughs> like, yeah. Those weird little blue dudes or whatever they are, the little, the tourist men. Um, yeah, no, they, uh, it's, it's got a good, like, theme to it, and I love the whole, like, it's Mario on vacation, essentially. I also guarantee if I played them both right now, I'd say Sunshine, because I easily can think Sunshine aged better. First of all, Sunshine yeah. came out later as a GameCube game compared to a N64 game. True. Uh, but, um, Sunshine was revolutionary in terms of its platforming, so. Um... It was very precise. Yeah, no, Sun Sunshine was like, it introduced, well, Mario games have kind of always done that. Like they're easy and you can beat them as is, but they do hold some sort of challenge in some of the like jump puzzles. Like you don't have to do everything in Mario, but there's options for people who want to like, you know, do more and do like uh, the crazier jump puzzles. Uh, so uh, while we've been talking about Super Mario and all that, this thing on my back lets me do like a levitate ability. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and you have to fill it up. So it's like an energy device. And you can see the like meters charging up. Um, but I think I'm already full on the meter. Say, you, you, you went from two to two there, so. Yeah. Hello. So this, I think, makes it so it Spans goes up one. There we go. So I'm just running around collecting these to make it so it can, like, hold more. Looks like that Mega Man blaster. It does, the, the thing that goes on his arm. <laughs> um, This looks like it's kind of just going to be open area. Oh, there's another thing right there. So, okay, let's go try and get that. I think I think that might be... Oh. <laughs> if you don't have enough momentum, you kind of just sink into the water. <laughs> okay. Hold. Levitate upwards. Oh, okay. I got it. I was like, I don't know if I got it. Whoa. I like the audio. Ooh. Oh. It's it's this is this is an interesting one because I feel like it's borrowing a lot of stuff from games, but it also kind of feels like oh there's a graphical glitch right there. You see that, Dev? You see that? You see that? <laughs> um, uh, it's borrowing a lot of things from other games as we've been bringing up other platformers and like the world design and stuff. But at the same time, there was definitely something in here. Um, it's kind of got its own thing going as well. It's a little Astro Boy. It's a little, uh, it's a little Breath of the Wild. Got a little bit of that banjo platforminess. I think the big thing that it's missing right now is uh, the world feels a little lonely. I mean, I, I don't want to go into like my my review while we're still playing the game, <laughs> but uh, that that's just kind of like what I'm noticing right now is uh, there's not any other like people. It's just creatures is what we're seeing, and that's fine. Like. They're here. At least there's other stuff here. These things are cool. Uh, am I supposed to do anything with them? Okay. I think we uh, we we pretty much got all that. Oh, the Breath of the Wild moment, Breath of oh, Europa. The title. There it is. Europa. Now jump off and die. <laughs> I will. <laughs> All right. Confirmed. You don't have health. <laughs> Doesn't seem to yeah, be I think a your thing. Your punishment is just like the hey, you have to stay crouched for five seconds. <laughs> yeah, you have to slowly get up. Going, oh my knee! <sighs> that whole thing. What's this? New ability? Um. Okay. We've got a sperm. <laughs> Which reminds me, uh, you you missed out on one what of the a segue. Yeah, what a segue. <laughs> <laughs> you missed out on you missed out on the sperm. <laughs> um, there uh, in Biogun, there was a part where I fucking uh, there was a side quest. There was this guy, and he was like, "Oh, I keep hearing these wailing and this screaming, and I think there's a ghost on the uterus." And I was like, "Okay." And so it was this completely secret area that I had to find that wasn't on the map. Found it, went to it, and there was a fucking sperm that was crying. And <laughs> I had to race him in like a fucking platformer speed run race. And he was really fast and really hard. And as you're going through the race, there's just a bunch of other sperm like shoved into the walls and dead and just like <laughs> all over the place. And I was like, this is insane. Like, Jesus Christ. Some say that humans brought Wait, life hold on. I think we I think we missed a page. I haven't read. Yeah, there's this one. Play it. It breaks my heart that you'll never see our home world, but I can't say I regret bringing you here. You're going to have everything I couldn't have. Clean water, fresh air, wide open skies. Everything a child deserves. That's what I want for you. But I'm not a real and boy. And community too. Human beings to play with and learn from and grow alongside. Every person here has a different story. That... But our futures are bound up together now. But we haven't seen anyone Don't else be scared. yet. I yeah. know they're going to love you. Some say that humans brought life to Europa. 
If you ask me, all we did was unlock the life that was sleeping within. Why have so many terraforming projects failed where this one succeeded? It can only be that Europa holds some innate capacity for life. Interesting. So yeah, I'd say uh, it's it's one of those games where you get your lore and the story through a book and pages. I do wonder why we haven't seen anybody, but there's that like floating island. So I wonder if like, yeah, there's like people up there. I'm wondering also how long it's been like since we've awoken. So it's a million times, but so many games, which is crazy. But like always reminds me of Mist. Like yes, you're in this. Yeah the temple-y ruined area and you're trying to figure out like where is know, everyone there's a, there's a sense of mystery of like what happened like, yeah what's going on? where is everybody why is no one here get another sperm now we've got two sperms these might be the people like they're they're now they've ascended to like being beings of light oh we need one more people wisp wisp is generally a uh a term for like a ghost person, so could be another page. Crazy Look shit over there. The gardeners. Look they came to this home as mere tools so that's what the flying dudes are. Oh, and the little rock but guys as well. Thousand years they've evolved into a whole ecosystem that, mimicking the That image on the left, Earth. the far left, the little like dome with a little penis thing, kind of looks like what a gonad looks like. Now. <laughs> if you were to like <laughs> look at a gonad in like a medical book, gonad. <laughs> I I just know this because I uh I saw a Reddit post and someone mentioned that uh you've seen the the Wii video from like fucking fifteen years ago, the kid in the wheelchair he's going Wee! that yes, okay. and gonads and strife. Um, <laughs> that's what reminded me of it because. There's in that video every time they say gonads, there's like anatomical medical charts of of gonads that pop up on the screen. <laughs> oh, okay, still died. It's fine. I'm a little robot boy, it doesn't matter. Um, the character model reminds me of uh the game Braid. Have you have you seen that game? It's like an indie I game. I do know what game you're talking about. Yeah, yeah he kind of reminds me of that. He's like very dwarfy and hobbity. Hobbit. And then his face kind of looks like it a little bit. He's a little hobbit boy. You're a big uh, Lord of the Rings guy, right? I'm not big, but I do love me some Lord of okay. the Rings. I, I, I know some lore and stuff, so. They're, uh, I was asking because they're doing like a theatrical reshowing of like extra stuff included for the extended cuts in June. So all like Lord of the Rings fans I know are going to Oh like in theaters? Yeah, yeah. Oh cool. I think it's like three days. So there's you know like you watch one of the movies each day. Yeah, because um, they're like four hours each. Yes. I, um, I think I remember reading correctly that there's gonna be some more stuff and I go, how is there more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like how how are we not how, how are we how not done? <laughs> Who's hiding the footage? <laughs> it's fucking Peter just Jackson. <laughs> he's just got it in his trunk in his house yeah, and just, uh, slowly I, I leaking to the lore. That scene with, with Orlando, um <laughs> but I didn't think it was right even for the extended cut. He kinda he kinda talks weird like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's, uh, is, is Peter Jackson from New Zealand, or he just filmed them in New Zealand? I can't I think remember. He just filmed them in New Zealand. Okay. Um, I don't like how those things disappeared when I, uh, oh, okay, they're like on. He would have been like, yeah, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. I was like Irish. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Lord of the Dance. Lord of the Rings. That was like whales. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Are you my king? <laughs> Are you my, my king? My brother? Uh, if you want to hear some really good whales accents, all of Elden Ring. I didn't realize it until watching uh, a channel that I like. Uh, one of the guys is from Wales. And he's like, yep, that's uh, that's someone from Wales. And they have a whales meter every time. <laughs> like a person that speaks like with a, well a Welsh accent pops up. The, the Welsh meter goes off. Oh, it's great, but yeah, the, I I didn't realize it, but holy shit, like ninety percent of the uh, the the characters in Elden Ring when you talk to them, uh, they're they're Welsh. All the names and stuff too, like Blythe, um, the the Wolf Man, he's uh he's a Welsh, and Blythe means Blythe. 
Blythe means wolf in Welsh, I believe, is what the, the yeah, lore the Welsh tidbit. Would spell it like that. They yeah, because two Ds means TH. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Blythe. Blythe. I know you have a lot of questions, most of which can't be answered in this notebook. Yeah, where's the people? There's a chance you're angry or that you'll get angry one day when you're older. Europa is unbelievable, but it's not finished. We're trying to build something better than what we left behind. That will take time. Generations even. That is why I'm sending you ahead. Okay. I know you have a Stop lot it. of questions. Most of oh my god, I just realized notebook. I there's a chance you I didn't know you could close the book while while listening to it. Older. Europa is unbelievable. I would have been doing that this finished. whole fucking time. We're trying to build something better than what we left behind. That will take time. I like the Why are these Yeah, I don't know. I like them though. They're like that floaty. Oh my god. Oh. They away. got crazy physics on them. Oh, you can climb on them. Okay. <laughs> That's really weird. Um, the uh, the idea of sending them off to avoid the uh, the Earth dying reminds me of. Um, Do you ever watch Porter Robinson's uh, Shelter music video when that was really huge? Mm mm. Really? I don't, even, I don't even know what that is. It's a song by Porter Robinson, and like uh, it was really big at the time because I think it came out like ten years ago at this point. Um, he like got like an anime studio to like do the music video, so it's like anime. And it, like, tells a story of, like, the scientist sending his daughter in a pod away from Earth as an asteroid's about to hit it. That's cool. It's, uh, interesting. I don't even... I don't even know what a little Porter bit of, like, Robinson hope. is. I don't even know who that as is. I'm writing this, uh, most of the what kind of music is it? So, like, he's island. made some different in types. He's done, like, time, a you're going hyper to pop, them. uh, techno kind here. of stuff. Oh, okay. Like, so that when yeah. you wake up, you'll wake up somewhere better. Fucking destroying I don't know everything. exactly what the world will look like. I'm actually buying tickets to its tour. Is that <laughs> tomorrow when they go on sale. Made oh, really? Of not yeah. thinking past tomorrow. By sending you ahead, I'm staking my heart. On I like how just walking into the pots blows them up. Especially this big goblet. Yeah, fuck that goblet. Everything here is, uh, it's so old that it's it's getting destroyed with just a touch. Hello? There we go. You didn't get that one. Um, this guy's voice has, uh, is making me think of something that I've been, like, pondering, because recently I've come across so many old men voices in video games, and it's just like, when, how, can you tell if it's, like, actually an old man, or if it's someone doing an old man voice? Oh, no, no, never. Like, is this guy actually just an old man, or is this a dude who can do an no. old man voice? I'd say it's a dude who can do an old man voice. Got it, because uh, there was, there's one, th it's in Sandland, one of the characters is like an old man, and I feel like he has like a certain amount of like phlegm in his voice that is not like something that young people have, like the, he, he has the destroyed throat of an 80 year old man voice almost and so like it, it's just been making me think like man are there people that really can like imitate it's like a whale it's onyx it is onyx like space whale centipede thing it is onyx onyx doesn't have legs though that's the only thing or wings oh he does have i didn't even see those he's got like grasshopper they're, like, fucking, wings. they're moving really fast that's really cool though that's a really nice uh way to animate that that is extremely studio ghibli-esque Get blessed. Yes. Well, I mean, yeah. There's also a floating island, like. Right. That itself. Nawasaka. Laputa's castle. Is this the the playback of the trailer? Is like this is the game that you will play in the future. Even that little rock thing's very uh. Oh, it's Iron Giant. Super. <laughs> <man>. Super. <laughs> this must be the end of the demo shot. This is definitely the end of the demo <laughs> shot. Yeah. Here's the here's the trailer that we can now watch yep. while we're. Okay. Do we want to watch the trailer? I mean, okay. no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> From time to time, I ask myself. Can I skip it? Is it possible? Stop to moving to read. Stop known. moving to read. Stop. Stop moving to read. Is it possible to be homesick for a place? Why did the the been? video get like 720p quality? <laughs> like, what happened to it? <laughs> 
Okay, I, I wanted to have like music on in the background, but I guess. I was born on Earth. I don't know how I long. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how Earth. long this is gonna go on for. It's. You know, I, I think so. Just... So we'll we'll see you over at the chunt curated chunt chunt, chunt list. We'll see you. Bye. -bye. All right, here we are at the chunt curated chunt list. Link in the description. I'm gonna start saying that now, so you can link in bio. Link in bio. People can go check out our grinder account. Um, the chunts are on grinder. <gasps> <gasps> the secret <laughs> grinder fans. Um, uh, okay, well, this game is called Europa. Uh, so as the boy that plays, um, I will. Uh, talk about the mechanic or the controls a little bit first because uh, there's like two big things that I really want three big things I want to talk about um, it's floaty it was very floaty some games I don't like the floatiness of platformers this was perfect this was great I loved the floatiness it was really nice uh, it made it it was like it gave it that whimsical feel of you know floating around collecting the energy to do floats and stuff um, my biggest concern with it was that there wasn't a lot of like jump puzzles or really anything to like challenge the floatiness. So we kind of just were like moseying along. It turned into a very podcasty uh, episode, which mm -hmm. I feel like these platformers always do for us for some reason. <laughs> like we just always start talking about like podcasty stuff. Um, but yeah, it was, it's just very floaty. Uh, but uh, the controls were reactive. I mean, there wasn't too many things to do. Is so, like a shield, a jump, and that's about it, and a float. Um, so that that's about it. So it just left me like thinking, if it's going to be a puzzle platformer, which is kind of what the trailer at the end and like the game kind of was leading towards. Um, I just don't know if from the demo we saw enough challenging puzzles or really anything challenging at all to make. Uh, make you be like, oh, I need to like try harder. I need to do this more, um, kind of thing. Uh, so controls they felt good, but I felt like it was there. There could have been more. Um, and then uh, next, I wanted to talk about the visuals. The game looks amazing. Uh, I will give it that. The game, I love the cell shadiness. That's like Wind Waker. We didn't really mention Wind Waker, but like Genshin, uh, Breath of the Wild, Sunshine, all this, all the platforms we were talking about. It's got like little aspects of all of those. And then I really liked the canvas uh, film grain over the entire thing. Uh, it was really cool. I, I liked that. I think the game visually looks great. Music was really uh, nice with it as well. It had that like Breath of the Wild rolling piano stuff going and all that. Um, the uh, I already forgot what the third thing I wanted to talk about is, so I'll kind of just say <laughs> um, I felt like the demo didn't really give us too much. Uh, I think that's my my biggest like caveat with the with the game is that or the demo at least you know we write demos here. Always have to say this, you know, if you see a lower score, it doesn't mean that the game's bad. It means that like we just didn't think the demo was a great a peak of the game. Um, and that's kind of how I felt about this. Like visually, it's great looking. The controls were fine, but it just didn't really like do enough, like quite enough to uh, really keep me like, oh hell yeah, I can't wait to do this next thing, you know. Um, and I'm Joe can't see this, but I'm hovering over something uh, Steamos that we did. It was season. Um, I don't know if you remember that one. It was the one where you like took pictures of stuff and. It kind of I reminded do. me of this. I, I forgot to mention, I wanted to say it while we were playing it. It was like the learning bits of lore about the world around you uh, through like pictures. And we were picking up the notes that had like pictures. And he was like, uh, like going, he was like saying everything. Season was very similar to that. So I think it's like a very similar game like that. It's a, it's almost a walking sim with platformer esque stuff with a post apocalyptic story to it. Um, I'm giving this one, <sighs> I'm going to give it a six. Um, it's, it's really close to a seven. I'll say that it's a six, but it's very close to a seven, but it is a six. It's like higher on the six, it's closer to a seven than a five. And I'll pass it on. So six closer to seven. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. Um, a very poignant covered a lot of the stuff that i think is to say about this game it was beautiful we got hints of other games in it i also agree that like y you felt a lot of influences from a bunch of other games but it didn't feel derivative it felt inspired which is always what you got to prefer it's hard to come up with something that's 100 percent a okay original nowadays so um i feel like you always have to rift off to something 
Uh, I do agree that the, the biggest problem was the lack of substance, something to sink my teeth into. Like you showed off, it was a bit of a tech demo. You showed off how beautiful everything was, the soundtrack, uh, like the, the controls, but I just want to sink my teeth in a bit more. Like doesn't need, it does not need combat or anything, but it needs some kind of mechanic that, okay, this is what I'm going to be doing for the entirety of this. Instead of just like a fetch thing of, Go pick up little whispering to spot. Like, is there more puzzles and stuff like that? But we didn't get to see, like, if that's... Like, is the game heavy on puzzles? Which some platformers are. Um, But it was still a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it for the uh, for the bit that we did get to play. Try not to sneeze, but... um, <laughs> it, it, I, I, I'm a sucker for these beautiful style of games. This is something that, like... It's weird. I probably wouldn't like seek out, but I would love if I owned it and I just like right. wanted to relax and play something. Yeah. I so, I think this is this enters into the realm of weekender game. Like this is probably not going to be very long and you could probably finish this off in a weekend, but it would be a nice game to experience over a weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Um all that in mind, I am going to give it a 7. Nice. So we were very close, you know. Is it is it closer to an eight or a or a six? To a six. Okay, <laughs> so we're we're probably in like the same realm of yeah. of scoring. Um. Okay. Very nice. All right. Oh f- shit! Where is it? <laughs> uh, got to scroll down. There it is. I found it. Okay. So it's between the Mortuary Assistant and Nightmare Reaper. Wow, <laughs> a super nice, colorful game picnicked in between <laughs> two really awful, like, disgusting games. Uh, let's head over to the store page. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the one and only. It's Tid time. Titty time, if you will. Um, Europa is not out as of recording this video. Very keyly, they put an update recently in March that it was supposed to come out April 16th, which is uh, a while ago. Um, but they had some development delays. So uh, they're saying it's coming out in 2024, but they don't have an update on that. Honestly, releasing the update saying that they're delayed on March 27th, but not a firm when it's going to be delayed to is a little worrying, uh, but I would keep an eye out on it. Um, as with most games that don't have a price and uh, aren't out yet, if this interests you, wishlist it. And that, will, uh, that way you'll also know when it goes live. If you wishlist the game and it releases, you'll get a notification that a game has released, that it's on your wishlist. So that's a um, a cool way to check that out. It's made by Elder Pinto um, and a couple of other people. I don't have the full list of the team, but their publishing studio is Future Friends Games. That's where you can find some of the information. But they are just a pretty small studio. It looks like a couple of people, it, not, a, not a ton. Um, I think, yeah, it's listed as Elder Pinto and Chozabu, which is Alex PB. So a pretty small team. Um, no other updates for when it's coming out from that, but it's marketed as a 3D platformer. Seems like it's got most of the stuff that uh, we've seen just kind of expounded on. It's going to be coming out on Nintendo Switch as well, which kind of... Mm. It is the perfect kind of a console for this game. This is a great how, Switch game, yeah. Yeah, I wonder how, if they're going to downscale the graphics for Switch or if it'll run perfectly fine with those graphics on a Switch. I'd be interested to see. If so, uh, why the fuck can't Breath of the Wild? <laughs> right. This, but, you know, <laughs> we chill. Throwing shade uh, at Breath of the Wild the whole time. <laughs> other than that, um, the demo's still live. Check out the demo, play it yourself. Uh, as with most platformers, controls are a very important things. So if you're worried about the controls, get the demo while it's still up there and wishlist it. Yep. Uh, not really much else to say about that. Hopefully it comes out. Big big hope here that it does come out. I, I hate to see games that are made, and you can tell there's care put into them, and then they just never come out. Uh, that that stuff sucks. Rip that one game. Yeah. The uh, what was that? <laughs> the, Dead Pets the, Unleashed. Yeah, Dead Pets Unleashed. That game's probably never coming out. See, it's unfortunate because we enjoyed that game and we enjoyed that demo, and Isn't it's that the probably Steam never that coming just out. Came out too, or is that the one that's coming out? It might not even be out at the time of recording this, but by this is out, it will definitely be out. <laughs> <laughs> so people can well, go yeah. check it out. Go watch <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> go go watch that. That's how Steamos works. <laughs> uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Uh.